back to Central Florida Fishermen. I'm Chad, and we're going to go hang a hog feeder today. We're coming into September. About time to get the bows out. Get the uh, 22 mag, the 22, the 270, 308. It's time to play. But uh, I want to get the feeder up. I want to see what hogs we got. Uh, it's been since last, uh, well, since the beginning of the year when it's cooler out since I uh, monitor any of the hogs on the property so who knows what's going on there now um, I'm sure we got a lot of new little babies and I'm sure some big boars have wandered in as well so I got a couple bags of apple corn I got a Maltry Edge cellular cam we're gonna put up and uh, we're gonna hang the hog feeder as well it's a Maltry bottom with a can on the top if you go back to a video, I don't know, last year I made a video on how to build a hog feeder by just buying the Maltry bottom and, and putting it on to the, the can with a, a coned insert. It works really, really well. Um, this is an old one. I've been running this feeder here for a couple years now. And you can see all the claw marks on the side of it from the raccoons trying to get in it. But uh, it keeps on running. Got some new batteries in it and we're ready to go. So we'll get down here, we'll get into, uh, I think I'm going to go to a spot I hunted probably four years ago. Been a while since I've been in this spot. And uh, we got some big boars out of it. And uh, just had a couple that were coming in and running the whole feeder and chasing everybody out. So we ended up uh, knocking them down with a 450 Bushmaster at night with some night vision. Just to try to get rid of them and get some good meat hogs coming in. But we'll get in there, we'll get it checked out, we'll get this camera hung. I'll see you guys in the woods. Whew. All right, I trekked back in here. This is a tree here. I used to have my feeder on years ago. See where I got the bottom the base is cut off. Just run right up over that loop there. But look how it's grown up in here since then. It's rough. So. Luckily, brought myself a little pair of Fisker snips. So I'm going to snip some of this away and get this feeder uh, hung up here. Let's get, let's get busy snipping some stuff. All right, so after about an hour of trimming and about 13 mosquito bites, mosquitoes are bad in here, I got me a little shooting path down through there. Got this all wide open here. So we're gonna have the feeder hanging right here. So I got a little spot to clean out down there yet and then I'll be back another 10 yards in. So give me about 30, 40 yard shot. Which would be nice. But uh, we'll find somewhere here. I think I'm gonna put the camera maybe right here on this tree. That'll give me a nice shot there. I'd like to have it a little further away. I'm not sure where I want to put it at. I gotta find a an open spot here that I can mount it and not have too much in the way. I want kind of a distant shot. I want to see where they're coming in at. But we'll find something here. We'll find a we'll find a spot. Let's get uh get this strung up over get the feeder set in place and uh, I can get ready to go back out to the truck, grab the corn, and uh, hike that in. I had to come through some water pretty deep. We got the mud boots on. So we're in here though. They got it all tore up over here. I mean tore up through there. So they're in here. They're in here ripping stuff up. So we got to put a little stop to that. But let's get this feeder hung up.
All right, so just chopped out a spot here. So we're gonna have the feeder hanging here and the camera right here on this tree. So let's go ahead and get it set up. I'm gonna show you here a little bit of the setup on this. get it put on the tree and flip our antenna up first we'll be about that high there all right so we're gonna get our string through our little bike cable loop here hold it there kind of give that a pull tight now, I don't want to get it super tight yet because I kind of want to position and the way I position them is I'll get a little stick and put in the back here. Now that's going to kind of angle my camera more up so it's flat. Because all trees are different, you know. I believe that's going to turn this way just a hair. bite her down right there that looks good now it's more level facing right out here now I'm going to take my extra then I'm going to wrap it go on the top the bottom come around Oop, getting dead again dang mosquitoes I'm just going to tuck this last little piece down through here. Give it a pull and cinch it up. Now we have this camera set up. This is the Maltry Edge. Amazing cameras. One of my favorites actually. You see connecting, connect, not connected. So we're going to turn it on. You see a full battery. We're going to watch this one start to blink here, the connecting one. So that's going to connect to the nearest best Wi Fi signal we have. Connected. Now our camera connected hooked up so there we are connected to take a test picture push the connect button right here that's going to take a test picture now we'll close her up find some shade here we're going to go to our Maltry mobile app Go to our pictures, here's our test picture. There's the feeder and underneath it. That's gonna be perfect, I think. Perfect. So we go back here now to gallery. We can click down here on devices and we can check. We're at the hog feeder. Fair signal, which is perfect for me, 100% battery. We're ready to ride. All right. Let's go get our uh, food, come back and fill this feeder. And uh, at that point, we just wait for pictures to come in. The mosquitoes are tearing me up in here. You can tell it's still summertime and it is hot, sweaty, sweaty hot. But uh, here's some more area I got to trim out right here. That's going to be, that's going to be where I sit back on the other side, back in there and then have a view up to where the feeder is up there. Holy crap. It is hot. <sighs> Trekked back up. So I got some sour corn here. It's been sitting out. It stinks. So I'm going to 
pump that out. So that's what we're gonna have on the ground. That's gonna be good pig lore right there. A bunch of sour, sour mix. So now we gotta fill the feeder up. So let's get it filled. Let me clip you up here on the branch. So in this feeder, we're going to run an apple flavored corn. Just for the first initial setup, they'll smell that apple, that'll draw them in. Same with the sour mash corn here. Right now we're just trying to draw them in because they don't know there's a feeder here. They don't know anything. So we got to get them drawn in first. That lid seated on tight. Here, I'll show you real quick. I'll show you why I want that lid seated on there tight. See all these claw marks? That's all from raccoons trying to pull the lid off. They got it all clawed up. That's why you want that lid sealed. That's why my chain goes through the handles through the top so they can't lift the lid off now with the chain there and then up into the tree I hear thunder so there's a storm coming in so we're gonna have to make this a little quicker a tricky part trying to pick it up yourself. Once I get it about that far, I can get underneath it. took a section of chain off. I used chain to hang them because raccoons will chew through rope. So chain or cable. I didn't need that much chain on that one. Mosquitoes. 
He doesn't want to come today. Alright, so we have our feeder, our camera over there. So we're going to dump this sour mash out. Down here where we can get good pictures. Try to do this one handed. I have a mosquito biting me. See that? That's what you want. You want all these worms in there. Once you see that, you know she's ripe. We got a little bit of dirt there. Our feeder. Now we're gonna go ahead and set up our feeder. All right. So let's pop our screen down. So this is a Moultrie feeder. So we're gonna set our feed times. We gotta set our clock first. I don't know if it's 145, I don't think so. It is. So it's 145 in the afternoon, hottest part of the day. Smart time to be out here. So mode, our first feeder, 8 a.m. I'm probably only gonna run in the evening. So let me get... So 8 a.m. feeder time, zero. 5 p.m. Zero. Okay, so we're gonna run back to five and move it up to seven. So we're gonna run our time up to seven o'clock at night. And we're gonna feed four um let's run three seconds at seven o'clock at night nothing on the third or the fourth timer 8 a.m we'll run that for one second just to get stuff in here in the morning see what we can come up with so we're going to go back now to our feed time one i'm going to show you how to run a test test feed on this maltry so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our 8 in the morning. We're only doing one second. So we're going to push and hold our mode button. It's going to say get away for 3 and do a countdown. That's going to run a test feed on here. Boom. Look at that. So now we know about where our line is going to be because we can look down now and see how far out the corn's thrown. Which is going to be perfect for where our camera is. So we're good there. We're gonna click that up. We're gonna close the bottom up. And it's that simple. We should start to uh, have some pictures on the camera tonight. With any luck. But with me being in here this late, eh, there's probably enough hogs in this area they ain't gonna care that I was in here trompsing around. Big thunderstorm coming. We got to get riding. We got a long trip out of this woods. But that's it. Um, we'll let this run. I'll wait a day or two to, to upload this video. I'll start editing it and getting it ready to go. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to put some of the uh, camera pics in with this one. And uh, you'll be able to see right off the bat, you know what I mean, what's happening with the feeder. Which is what everybody wants to know. Especially me. Let's get riding out of here before we get caught in a thunderstorm in the middle of the marsh out here. Not where I like to be. But uh, I'll see you guys when I start getting pictures. Well, we beat the storm out, but not by much. It started to rain on my way out to the truck. By the time I got to the truck, it was raining a little bit. But Got my mud boots off, got my sneakers on, and uh, heading up the road now, but it's, it's blanking in the area out here. It's coming in, 
coming in town. So that's it. Now we just uh, wait for pictures and then uh, try to schedule the the time we want to go in and uh, harvest one of these hogs. I'd like to get a smaller one uh, and do another whole hog on the uh, Traeger. So we'll see what we can make happen. Let's wait for them pictures now. Well, we finally have some pictures come in that same night. We have this boar hog here who is wandering around. Looks like he's a little sketched out, doesn't know what's going on, scared to come in. Um, but he does start coming out a little more and then all of a sudden, boom, he shows up with friends. Pregnant Sal and another boar. So we're definitely going to uh, keep a watch on these guys and get out there and uh, plan a time to start hunting them if I can get them coming in earlier. But everybody, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Until the next video, I'm out.